Hi. I just been, um, I'm actually in Seattle right now. It's been freezing cold, raining today, and so I made, um, I was just writing today. Should I post a, should I post a snippet tomorrow of the song that I wrote today? Hi. Come to Brazil. I really want to come to Brazil. Does anyone want to give me a lyric I can incorporate in a song? Anybody? Yes, snippet, please. I know, I kind of think I'm going to. I'm usually so precious about, like, not showing anything until either it's until it's done or until like I know it's about to come out um but I kind of feel like it tomorrow I don't know when I'm performing in LA again I'm kind of really in a writing space right now like I really want to write and I worked so hard on the Serpentina show anybody who came to it I um love you so much um but yeah I'm really proud of of that show and that tour and um it was great so put a lyric about your mom those are always very relatable <laughs> okay think about that what other what other ideas Sydney, ugh, I, I do, I have to come to Australia with Serpentina. I haven't done that yet. I know, I was, I was extremely sick for Manchester. I tried so hard to be able to push through and do it, but I would have been barfing all over the stage. It just would have been bad. Cat, hi! <laughs> Sarah, my friends. Serpentina Deluxe. Scott! Never knew the way I was breaking. I saw you stand there on that night and you promised me that I was your last breakup. Wait, what song is that? What's wrong with me? What song is that? Can somebody, can you... Rick Ricardo 9, can you tell me what song that is? I'm tripping out right now. Ricardo, tell me what song that is. <laughs> it's my own lyrics. I literally don't, I can't, sometimes I can't remember which songs. Unless I like hear the song, then obviously I know. Yeah, I know it does deserve a Grammy. Not thanks for getting. Oh, yeah, I posted that. I remember. I never finished that song. That's why I couldn't remember it. I really like the song I wrote today. The first lyric. Um, I think I might post the first. I think I might post a little snippet tomorrow. But. Driftwood. I'll check them out. I've never heard of them. Should I uh, include somebody in it so I can talk to somebody? I like the song you wrote today too, but you haven't even heard it. <laughs> Someone new, yeah. I'm so happy that I actually performed Someone New on tour. I had never done it before because I just, I don't know. Right, love the song. Remind me how it goes. <laughs> Just say sorry so we make it. And if you don't mean it, well, just say it and fake it. Did anybody 
you hear those lyrics? Okay, maybe I'll add somebody in on this. Hang on. Questions. What do you do to get in the right? Yeah. Oh, cool. There are questions. Okay. What do you do to get in the right mood to write songs? The right mood just finds me. I can't really um, force it, you know? Before I started releasing music, there would be like six months before I, you know, started writing. Like, there would be six months of a break before I would make music again, just because I wouldn't, I can't, like, force it, you know? Now, I, I don't know, maybe because I'm older, I have shit to write about more often now. But, what did I eat for dinner tonight? I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm gonna eat dinner, though. Um, okay, what other questions? Let's see. What you been writing about lately? I wrote a song about mean girls. <laughs> I actually was bullied when I was younger. And I'm really sensitive to bullying. Like, I, I want to do something charity-wise. That's like anti-bullying. I'm really passionate about that. But, um... I'm just reading your guys' comments. Get ready. How do I do my makeup? Well, I didn't do it so great right now. Put mascara on, but I got it. I got it everywhere. Okay, let's see. What else? Will you have a collab with Tovo? 100%. We actually already made a song together. Who knows when it'll come out though, but she's my girl. What mascara do I use? What do I use? I think I use Dior. Every time it rains on the glass door of my house, I feel like, oh, I thought that was going to be a lyric. <laughs> but you feel like it's the, this is what it feels like video. Yeah. Oh, that's such good memories. That stage. Um, okay. Other question. Can you teach the underdog choreo? I've been asked this so many times. I think I will one day. It's really fun to do. It's very easy. You guys could all do it, even if you were, like, wasted and had a limp and, like, couldn't see and, like, it's just, you could do it. It's very easy. Mm. Do I enjoy extreme production or strip back production the most? You know what? I've gone through different stages. I'm very much craving. I think like at the end of the day, it's always about the song. The song being good at its core. And I'm, I think that strip back, I'm kind of in that zone right now. are good questions what was it like performing better at radio city oh we are all so in love with you i'm so in love with all of you guys that was i love performing that song live i'm sure it's gone through so many different variations live um but it was special i mean i cried when i saw my name on the marquee of radio city i just like that was a huge moment for me Yeah. What's the my favorite song I've written? I cannot choose. Sometimes I'll listen to like a random one. I'll be like, this song's so fucking good. <laughs> of my own writing. I'm like, wow, Jillian, way to go. But it changes depending on what mood I'm in. And then sometimes I'll hear songs from other artists that I think are so brilliant. I'm like, it's like when I love a song so much, like I wish I wrote that song. I'm like, God, I wish I wrote that song. 
when you, you uh you're at Radio City Bohemian Songstress amazing favorite vocal warm up okay I'm gonna give you guys a secret I actually need to get better at warming up my singing coach would kill me right now I sometimes don't warm up and it's not good for your voice leave to you took so many pics of the name on the marquee. I was so proud. Oh, Katarina, I love you. <sighs> I miss all of you. Kim Petras, love her. She's my girl. Raw demo of holding back. I should do that. How do you find your sound? You have the most unique, beautiful vibrato. Aw, thanks. How did I find my sound? I don't know. I just like, I think the more you you are, that is your sound because everybody's different. And if you're just like uniquely yourself and you, you can't listen to anybody, that sounds shitty. But I mean, you could choose, pick and choose who you listen to. But there are a lot of the time when I like first started writing music, people would be like, you can't write about like that's such a weird thing to say in a song or like you can't use that chord progression or like you can't switch keys or you can't talk in past tense and then and then nod and like there are these rules people would tell me and I just never you just can't listen to those it's like when I when I wrote the song drowning I always I don't know if I've told this story before but I feel like I have but I remember somebody listened to it and they're like you can't sing about soup in a song you know that's the part that's like from the girl who made you soup and tied your shoes when you were hurting you were not deserving and I remember I'd be like why can't I write about soup in a song like because the way they said it was like it's so weird to mention like soup in a song I don't know if that's but yeah and I was just like fuck you no it's definitely gonna be mentioned and yeah I think that's a big part of finding your sound is just really staying true to your to your beliefs and your own artistry I'm reading your comments. You heard me warm up in Portland. What? Portland. How did you hear me? Why can't I think of the venue in Portland I played? Cool. That's cool you heard me, though. That makes me proud that I warmed up that night. <laughs> beat that I put on IG what happened to it CJ Parker um I still have it probably I have so many songs that I haven't released I wish I could just it feels like there's so much that needs to go into a song release and sometimes it feels like you need to like plan it so much in advance like I just wish I just want to like that's why I was asking you guys if I should drop a little snippet for tomorrow because I was feeling kind of like I just wanted to share something fresh but yeah I would love to start just maybe next year I'll focus on randomly dropping songs a collab with Josh Okay, Josh, is it Levy or Levy? Or... Anyways, he knows I love him and we might have a collab coming. We might have already made it actually, but who knows. You look like a proud Satanist. I don't know how to respond to that. Your false idols. It's a strange comment. Maybe I am. It 
Seattle misses you. I'm in Seattle right now, actually. And with Sone again, aw. Sone's my family. I haven't written with him in so long, and I actually, we actually talked last week about uh, getting back in the studio. He lives in Barcelona now, so it might have to be remote unless I convince him to fly to me, but yeah, we've got to get back in. We've made some classics, classics together. Waiting Game, Alibi, Gemini Feed, This Is Not About Us. What else have we made? To the Hilt, Till Now. So many songs. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm gonna what is request to join I'm gonna I'm gonna accept somebody to join I just pressed accept does it take a minute What do I do? I pressed accept to somebody. Do I do something else now? Wait, why didn't she come? Okay, I'll, I'll do a different one, see if it works. Anna Perez, I, I just accepted you. Do you have a dog? No, I really want one though. I don't get it. Am I doing? Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. How are you? Um, I commented. I don't know if you saw my comment, but I told you that I started listening to you in middle school, and I graduated college last year. I hope that doesn't make oh, you feel oh old. Oh my God, I'm like, so old. That your music has helped people. <laughs> I don't know. Has gone on journeys. Just... A lot of journeys. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, oh my god, that I can't believe this is happening. This is so random. <laughs> well, your name just was calling me when I looked at the this when I looked at those was people it this requesting to join the chat. You? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Well I'm I'm glad that um I'm glad that you're a supporter so it means much. so much to me. Have a good day. Give someone else a chance to Thank have their much. day made. Okay. I will. How do I, how do I end it? Do you, you end it? Because I don't know. I feel all right. I love her. you. Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Successful. Notice me. Hey, girl. All right, well, well, I just wanted to stop in and say hi, and you might expect a little Kayla here. I love you. <laughs> Is the collab with Lou and the Yakuza confirmed? We've, it's confirmed. Go, go, go comment on her Insta about that. We've been discussing it. Tell her to get on it. I love her. She actually just did a cover of Birds by the Sea for I don't know what show it was, but it was so beautiful. Um, I was really excited to see that. I love when artists I love cover my songs. It's such a compliment. Um, okay, well, maybe I'm going to go make dinner or something, but... I love you guys. I'm so fucking grateful for every single person who connects to my music. And 
Did I sell my paintings? I'll answer this one last question. I haven't, but I am going to put them online so we, so they can be bought. Okay. Anyways. Why am I having a hard time leaving you? I'm just going to rip the band-aid off. But I like doing these lives. I always forget how much fun I have. So maybe I'll come and do another one soon. Um, but again, kiss you all. Write to me if I do end up posting a little snippet tomorrow of something. Let me know if you like it. And let me know if you want me to finish it. Because I've got ADD with songs. Sometimes I'll start something and then um, sometimes I'll just like move on to another idea. Okay. Love you. Bye.